So I thought I'd chuck this video up to try and help promote a Raspberry Pi automated boat project um, that some guys are running. They're after sponsorship to be able to get them to America to compete in a fairly large um, competition. I believe they need around £700, so if any businesses want to sponsor them, there is hull space to put the company logos. And um, here are a few words from the guys who run the project. Hi, we're from, we're from Aberdeen University. Um, we've been building uh, sailing robots which are, which are powered by the Raspberry Pi. Uh, these are autonomous, so they sell themselves. Last year we managed to take our first boat off to um, Boston in America to compete in the sail competition and we came third for our first entry against much stronger and more experienced teams. Um, this year we're hoping to enter it into the sailboat competition again, but this time it is in San Francisco. Uh, but last year we managed to get sponsoring from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, as well as a few other people and individual donations as well. And um, This year we're hoping to get even more money because we need to get further. Um, the other side of the United States is almost twice the distance. Okay, so this, this is last year's boat, so um, it's controlled by, power, by a Pi and an Arduino. Uh, it takes input from uh, a wind sensor, a GPS and a compass. That, this automatically sets the, the rudder and the trim of the sails uh, and does that to automatically sail in, in pretty much any location. This is, our, this is the boat for next year. So it's currently quite a large work in progress, so it currently has no electronics. It's currently just a, a, a hull with um, mounting for the keel and the rudder. It's going to have very much the same control system. Uh, so the same, same architecture with a Raspberry Pi and Arduino and the same sensors. So the, the big changes for this year's boat are we're going to add, uh, hopefully add a vision system to allow for collision avoidance and targeted um, directions towards waypoints. Because in the competitions a lot of the waypoints are marked by buoys so with vision we can use that. Also it's a much longer and thinner boat allowing us to meet much higher top speeds. Uh, we're also going to have a much more powerful sail. It's going to be four meters high from deck to top of the mast. And it's also uh, going to change its rig slightly. So we're going to have one big sail rather than two smaller sails. This is much easier to use and generally much friendlier for the engineer designing it. So if you're interested in helping out, connect to them via Twitter and you can find more information on their webpage 